And we're back! Alright. In Resident Evil, we're back in survival horror. I'm pumped. I'm wearing my Street Fighter V socks. This is some Devil May Cry before I got on here. I'm ready. Of course you have Street Fighter socks. They're awesome! Chewie gave them to me. Of course Chewie gave <laughs> you Street Fighter socks. Do you remember where we left off? Like, do you remember what's happening? Nope. But that's what you want to hear. That's fine, because all we have to do is just explore rooms we haven't really fully explored. Or haven't been in, because we got the armor key. I think that's where we left off last time. We already used all of the sword key, so let's go find out what this armor key opens. So where do we want to go? I don't know. You tell me. Let's... Hmm. I don't know if I should go ahead and stock up on all the herbs on the outside. Or... Trying to blaze it up with all those herbs. You know, I might as well. That way I don't have to go out there again. <clears throat> Wait, what are you doing? I'm going to go outside, get all the herbs, and then bring them back and then storage them. That way I don't have to keep going outside to get those herbs. So let's clear this up a little bit. Um... You can survive with 15 bullets. Just run past all the enemies, right? I was I mean, thinking about that, yeah. You want to be able to get maximum bullets, or maximum herbs. Yeah, and I think there's four out there, so. If there's five? Well, if there's five, then... If I, I shook my head in disappointment, <laughs> for those who can't see that. A.K.A. everybody watching. Because we don't have face cams. Yet. I don't think we're going to do face cams. You don't think we'll do face cams? No. What if we play, like, Five Nights at Freddy Part 8? We're not going to. We need face cams if we're going to play Five Nights at Freddy, Part 8. Wait, there is a Part 8? No, but by the time we're doing face cams, there will be. No, how many parts are there? Four? I want to say four, and then there's the... Ah, shit. That's the one that you can only go through like three times, I'm guessing. Yeah, and then once you break it, you have to go through the long way, which is all the way up here. Go over here, and then go over here. Fuck that. Uh, all right and then there's that there's that rpg isn't there uh yeah 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 the which do you know the like what happened with that no so like he put out the rpg and i feel like it was out for either a week or a couple of days and then he pulled it from the steam store and he's like guys it's i i apologize this is such garbage i'm gonna redo it and i'll release it for free and everyone gets refunds if you want uh, and then I believe it's still garbage. And then he released a spin-off called, I think, Fri Five, Nights Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location or something like that. Sister Location. Yeah, I'm not 100%. This one just came out. Um, I'm not 100% sure, like, what it's about, but, yeah, it, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's Five Nights at Freddy's, pretty <laughs> much, I guess. But apparently it's not canon. There's really? a cannon for there. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's... I was surprised, too. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, speaking of... Um, well, actually, this has nothing to do with Five Nights at Freddy's. So, when we were doing the Quantum Break Let's Play last night, you said uh, that Heroes game was kind of like a poor man's Quantum Break. Yeah. And it's garbage. And we looked up the Metacritic score, and it was like, what, it was 66 user and 57 for, like, critics, that I Sounds think? about right. Yeah, um, on Steam, it has very positive reviews, actually. Why? People are like, the game is actually really fun. They're like, the story isn't there, but it's it's actually a fun game. So, yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I might give it a shot. Oh, you little fuck. Oh, jeez. Kill it. Defensive weapon. I don't have any defensive weapon. Damn it! That was close. Yeah, I think every time you come out here, one jumps over. I don't know if the other one's gonna jump over right now, depending on how long I take. Let's get all this. Let's get the fuck is that out. is that gas canister thing? You can fill up your canteen with it, but that's about it. Oh, that's so. Wait, is it unlimited or? No, you can only use it like uh, twice. Or okay, three times. that that makes sense. Yeah, that's why there's multiple uh, canisters all over the area. Let's go ahead and combine 
Actually, I want to see something. Because I know you can combine three herbs, but I don't know if it's three green herbs or one red herb mixed with this. No. No, I don't want to do that because I want to combine this one with this one. So wait, is yellow an herb in... Res I, cause no. I, I, I know it is in later games. Yeah, it is, but green. not in Oh, what no. Oh, oh. What? I thought it was going to be dogs. No, the dogs is in the other hallway. Huh. So you've been thunderstruck lately? <laughs> I got pretty thunderstruck right there. So let's put these in the storage. Is your phone on silent? Yes, sir. All right. Good good man. Good man. Okay. And let's put these up. That way we don't have to mess with them. I don't know if I should carry the fuel canteen with me. I don't know. I mean, you have such limited space. Yeah, it's a sucky thing about being Chris, but it is what it is. So what is, is that just to kill the plants that you encounter later on? Yes, sir. All we don't right. need it right now. See, I, I know some stuff about Resident Evil, like the first one. Because I actually, I played Resident Evil Deadly Silence, which was the DS version. Oh, yeah? Which, it was actually not too bad. Like, I, I was, I was alright. That game was alright. Okay, how much health do I have? Fine? Okay. Yeah, you fine, girl. You fine. Damn, girl, you looking real fine. Are you going with my phone? Yeah, that's what I'm going with, you dirty bitch. No, that's a mess. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Should I carry the old key, old key with me? Because the thing is, if I carry it around with me, I could just use it and then throw it away. Yeah, I guess, right? Like, yeah, I'll just carry it around with me just in case. So wait, we've already saved, uh, Ken- wait, no, not Kenneth. Keith? Is that his name? I don't know, I think his name is Richard. Oh, Richard. What a dick, am I right? You mean this clever, Michael? <laughs> yeah! Alright. So we've saved him, and Becca is hiding somewhere. They're both in the nurse, in uh, the... nurse, or what is it called? Not a nursery, but, um... Uh... Oh, how convenient. So is the armor key done with now? No. Uh -oh. It'll tell you when you're done with it. It'll ask you if you want to start it or not. More, oh, more herbs. Oh. Hunters! Oh my gosh. Hunters are so... They're the worst thing to deal with in this game, honestly. They're... I bet. They're probably they're like the equivalent of liquors, right? Like They're pretty much the liquors of Resident Evil 1. Liquors are in here, too. What? Yeah. They're both in here. I remember because I dealt with them. And, uh, liquors are not as bad as... Uh, not as bad as... Uh, hunters, but... They can be pretty annoying still. Because they got that range of that tongue. You don't believe me, Michael? No! <laughs> Okay, researchers will. This is a letter. And it's just a letter of, uh... My dearest Cynthia! Yeah. Oh, he actually starts with my dearest. I didn't read it yet. Yeah. I just, just kinda... <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, it's just him explaining how... He's sorry about all this. Like, how he's been gone with all this time, and... He misses her, and he's been working this lab, and now there's a freak accident. I bet he misses that ace. I mean, who wouldn't? But, That's uh, true. Have any luck, huh, disproving me? Not yet. <laughs> Did you just Google, are there liquors in Resident Evil 1? That'd probably be easier. I typed in liquors in RE1. Now what we want to do is we want to look in here. Sure. All right, we need to make some space again. Damn it! I'm not finding anything about liquors in Resident Evil One, so I guess we'll have to wait to find out. I thought I remember seeing some liquors because I remember you walked through a lab and there's just a bunch of liquors like waiting behind the glass doors or something like that. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you are crazy. That's probably, that's probably it. You're just crazy. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Man, fuck Cocoa Puffs. I don't like Cocoa Puffs, do you? 
Uh, no, I don't like any chocolate cereal. The only chocolate cereal I like is Cocoa Pebbles. I, I just can't do chocolate cereal. No. That kind of thing, no. <clears throat> Alright, let's What's your favorite cereal? Uh, that's a good question. Dropping know. the handgun off? Yeah, because I don't need it right now. And the knife? No, let's keep the knife just in case. I was about to say, damn, girl. Oh, nope, dropping off the knife. All yeah, right. Yeah, because where we're going, we don't need any weapons. Where we're going, we don't need weapons. Yeah. We're just going to get in here, get some stuff, and then solve a puzzle. Watch well, watch a hunter show up and just fucking... Actually, we are going to need a knife, because I remember one of the puzzles is you do have to kill something. Well, good thing you remember that before we got too far. Yeah. It's not super bad. Like, I don't need, like, herbs or anything, but a knife will be just as dandy to have. So is that shotgun, like, that's the only shotgun in the game? Yes, sir. Oh. And as Jill, you get it early, and Chris, you have to wait a little longer. And I think uh, each person has their own, like, uh, exclusive weapon. Like, I think Jill gets the grenade launcher and Chris gets the magnum. What would you rather have, grenade launcher or magnum? If we're in a house like this, I think I'd go for magnum. Yeah. <laughs> but it's apparently very useful. The thing about the grenade launcher, I guess it's good for Jill, but it's kind of annoying is that it has different kinds of ammo. Yeah. So you'd have to really have space in order to carry it around, if you want to use all the ammo for it. Yes. Nope, we don't want to press that yet. Alright. Uh, use this. And then use this. Then hit yes. What the hell? Huh, that's weird. And that's for sure that that was gonna work. Alright. We need to pull out a strategy guide? No, we don't need to pull out a strategy guide. Hmm, that's weird. Mm, so, let's see. Go ahead and look at this again. Oh wait, I remember. We need the hook. We don't have the hook yet. Where do we get the hook? I don't remember. <laughs> God damn it. Is but that a brain? Know. Yeah, it's a brain. Oh, there's a hook. Hey, look at that. Alright, now we got the hook. Now, I believe we put that in here. And now let's try it. Oh my gosh, I have to be right up. Okay. Alright. Okay. There we go. Hey! And then this annoying part's happened. Uh, let's see. Yep, there he is. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't have the freaking knife equipped. Damn it. And he can actually, like, I don't know if he can kill you, kill you, but he can hurt you a good amount, so. Come so what? On. He was just fucking plain dead? <sighs> yeah. What a bitch. Yeah! Oh. What? Yeah, he, he's pretty strong. Ah, get over here. Alright, there he goes. He's the dead. fuck? Yeah. And that's how you use the magnum. Alright, that's how you get the magnum. He's still alive! Nah, fuck him. You gotta go to the cemetery, use the wind crest on a, I think on a gravestone, or tombstone, I mean, and, and then you get the magnum. Uh, now is magnum ammo hard to come by? Uh. Or like harder to come by than regular ammo? Uh, it's pretty scarce right now, but later on in the game you get a good amount. Now, I never really used the magnum to be, uh honest because i mostly stuck with the shotgun because you know you can basically get instant yeah, headshots wider, yeah oh yeah. and a wider spread is what i was thinking yeah so all right let's get all this stuff and i believe there's something over here yeah herbs your shit's full bro yeah this is gonna so the one thing about chris is you're gonna be running back and forth a lot 
But let's check our map. Let's see if we got. Let's see if we 100% these rooms. Yeah, we did. We just need to go in there and get that herb, and then these rooms are done with. Yay! So we're 100%ing this game. Confirmed. <laughs> we can 100% these rooms. I don't know about this game. I think you got it in you. I don't know. What does that mean? 100% this game. Like, get everything. Get every ammo. Get every herb. Get what? Get, get every ending. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do that. You heard it here f first, folks. We're gonna do that. Like, I didn't even know there was multiple endings until you told me, so I don't even know. Yeah, there's like ten. This is pretty weird, because in order to get the first aid kit, you have to examine it, open it, and now you have the first aid spray. Now let's put these I looked at, See, I wish that they would show that in the Resident Evil movies, of just like them having a spray and it just says first aid spray on it. <laughs> and like, they're like all fucked up, limping around, and then they just spray it, and they're like, all right, let's go. Like a sensu bean. Yes. Except you spray it. Now I'm gonna carry the first aid spray around because it heals a lot more. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I won't worry about it until I'm in danger. And plus, when I was at the end of my first playthrough, I had so many that I was like, oh, I should have used them. And I guess I'll keep the old key around. I need ammo! What game is that from? Quick. Is that Resident Evil 5? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Possibly. Or if you're thinking about Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Captain nope, America, not thinking about Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I can tell Captain you that America much. going like, I need backup! Ultimate Spider! How do you feel about Tom Holland as Spider Man? He's okay. Uh, I think we already talked about this, but, you know, Andrew, Andrew Garfield, Garfield yeah. best Spider-Man ever of all time, confirmed. Yeah, I think we talked about that in our last yeah, few videos. Yeah. So. Uh, we didn't talk about Tom Holland, though. He's alright. Yeah, know. I feel like he did an okay job. I mean, he was, I, yeah, I feel like he was a good Spider-Man, but, I don't know, I feel like Garfield is just where it's at. I agree. Now, do we have everything in this room? Yep. Let's get yeah, out of here, put this buddy. in the storage, look for more doors to open. <laughs> Are you excited for the new Spider-Man movie? Yeah, especially because it takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we might see, like, Captain America. And, or, or Tony Stark's got to be in it. He is in it. Yeah, and then who knows who else. But, yeah, yeah, it'll be cool. Um, do, have they announced who the villain is? It's a possibility of, uh, I told you, what's his name, the guy who plays Batman? Michael Keaton playing as, uh, Vulture. Oh. But I feel like if he's gonna be, if they're gonna have Vulture in it, he's not gonna be the only villain. Because I don't think... Vulture's a big enough villain to yeah. do a whole feature film. Yeah, and like the same thing with Electro, you know, they couldn't just keep Electro. Even though he was the main villain, he wasn't interesting enough to keep as a, the only villain. Even though that Green Goblin was terrible. And I was excited for that Green Goblin, too. I still think they should release the rated R cut. Especially at this point, like, the dream is dead. Like, they're not going to make any Amazing Spider-Man sequels anymore. Like, they planned for four films, which seems kind of weird, because you hear of trilogies, but you don't really, like, quadrilogies. quadrilogies <laughs> like, but anyway, yeah, part four was, uh, or part three was supposed to come out, like, 2017 or something, and I totally would have fucking watched that. It is kind of disappointing because it would be kind of interesting to have like a rated r sinister six movie well i want rated r amazing spider-man too like i want the unrated cut and i don't see why they sh can't do it now like unless it's a rights issue but i don't see why it would be like just fucking do it because you that series isn't going anywhere anymore it's fucking dead it's as dead as disco man this goes pretty bad it's gonna be a lot of singing in the SLP. Maybe not the You've been the master! Yeah. Alright. It says that we haven't gotten all the items in this um, in this room, so I'm trying to figure out what we've missed. Mm, what could it be? I don't know if it's something we have to get later or if something we're not seeing. Do you see anything? Oh. Here we go. Does that count? Yeah. Uh, it should count. It is a well-known fact that many 
plants that are credited with medicinal healing. Oh, is it just telling you how to use herbs? Alright, let's see if that counted. Yep, it counted. Alright, let's get out of here. So we are 100%ing every room, confirmed? It's better if you do, that way you can... It will Jesus It will be Christ. annoying because you have to run to the storage so like very just, frequently. I, I, okay, I know you're playing the game and that might be what you want to do, but do you think that makes for the most entertaining content? What, 100%ing every room? Yeah. I mean, I would rather do it just because I want the ammo and the herbs and everything. If it's just like... I don't know. It will be pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie, because of the... Running back and forth is mm -hmm. what I'm thinking is the biggest issue. Yeah. Like, imagine you're watching a Let's Play and it's like, oh, and then, like, an entire episode, all they accomplish is checking every room. I'm pretty sure this is the room. No, I don't think so. Maybe? Let's see. Let's see if our friend will greet us with a warm welcome. Barry? Oh no, it's not Barry. No, oh, it's past this one. The snake? Yeah, yawn. You need a shield key. Oh! Yeah. Yawn, he, you can actually kill him the first time. Because, like, uh. I, it seems like you can because of how powerful he is, but you can't actually kill him because that's not the actual first boss fight you're supposed to come in with him. Like, this first interaction, but you're not supposed to fight him until you get to the library. Uh huh. But you can actually kill him before then. You know what? This room's pretty empty, so I'll just leave these here for later. I don't want to do too run too much running back and forth, so I'll keep that for later. Let's just see what doors we can open. Yeah, we'll just open the doors, get rid of the key, and then after that we'll get some items. Alright, so we went... Alright, so let's go... Down, right? Yeah, you know, I was thinking about staying up here, that way we can... No, I mean like down and to the right, that door? Where all the red starts? Oh, yeah. Isn't that... Wait, is it... Isn't it... Is it... Is that... What? 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 <laughs> it looked like it was just straight to your right. What do you mean? Like, is this the... Open the map real quick. Yeah, I was talking about to the right, you went left. Right. On you, you mean this side right here? Yeah. Oh. Mm. How the fuck else do you want me to describe it? Is well, it I'm looking for red uh, squares, because those are locked doors, because I'm trying to see what the key opens. Oh. The red rooms we'll do later, because right now we're just opening doors. We're not getting items. Um... Okay, so we could get in here, but it's pretty dangerous. I better go ahead and equip the gun. Shouldn't you equip the gun before you open the door? It'll be fine. Alright. It's locked from the other side. Oh, Jesus! Get off, asshole. What an asshole! Oh my god! Get off me! Alright, let me just see. Uh, I can be fine. Oh god. Okay. So, is he dead now, or you have to even. Even after he's, he's a crimson head? You... He's dead. Okay. Alright, once you kill him as a crimson head, they're dead. Alright, let's use this. On caution? Yeah, because that the next one will kill me. And he's waiting right there. You can see him in the mirror. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, now I can. That's fucking creepy. Oops. What the fuck? Oh, I have hit him a couple of times before. Yeah, it seems like they're dead. All right. Now, I don't think I was able to open this door before. Oh, I guess I have. I don't remember what's in here, though. Let's see. 
Oh, this leads back to this area. Okay, let's see if we can open this one. Nope. Need a helmet key. Um. Alright. So, let's go downstairs. Let's see what's going on down here. Might as well get some medicine. Oh, yeah. Look, Becca could have fucking healed you. Oh, right? Yeah. This is where she is? Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Do you want me to treat your wounds? <laughs> oh, sorry. We already used the first aid spray. No, I'm okay. It's fine. We get but so many of them to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. You know what would be great? Is it, if you died supplies, as Chris, so you took over as Rebecca. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And then, like, that's just, that's how the game ends. Like, Chris is dead. Like, obviously, it's a non, it's not a, it's a non-canon <laughs> ending. From what I understand with Resident Evil, the way it works is all the endings, except for the good ending, I didn't have are non-canon. Like... Yeah, if we're going around opening doors, probably make sure you have all the keys. <laughs> I thought I had it this whole time, damn it. But I'm pretty sure we didn't run into any doors that needed the armor key. So I mean, sure. the helmet key. That's not the same thing. There's the like four keys. Armor. It, yeah, I thought the same thing too when I first played this, but no, it's not the same thing apparently. Smells faintly unpleasant. Nothing that the old key can open. Yay! Okay. Let's get rid of this. Open this. Woohoo! Whenever it's usually old key doors, it's usually like uh, items just in a bunch of room. We op okay. oh oh the wooden shotgun. That's actually perfect. Or not wooden, but broken shotgun. How do you fix it? You don't fix it. This is what you use as a replacement. Oh, uh, it makes sense. Makes sense. Here's a canister. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, ink ribbons. Can't carry it anyway. Yeah, we don't need it right now. You want to go get that shotgun? Yeah, let's go get that shotgun, man! I don't remember if I have any shotgun ammo. Yeah, you have six. Okay. Six shells. Should I carry it right now or save it for later? Whenever we're in the nah, we more trouble area. Save it for later. Alright. All right, all right, all right. You know there's a band called Corpus Christi? I saw that on, on your little desk right there. Why would they name themselves after such a shit place? I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is where we need the blue jewel. Ever heard this band? These hearts? Yes. No. They started off as like a very like, I'm gonna say like pop punk slash easy core type thing, mm -hmm. um, and then I feel like the last shit I heard by them was like super heavy, mm. like, yeah. So that that was crazy. Uh, close your eyes. Ever heard of them? No, I'm probably not gonna know any of those. <laughs> they're actually close your eyes. They're really good. Well, they were really good. They. Well, they had a, like, some really good songs, but I, I never, like, listened to all their albums. Mm -hmm. But they had some good, like, Oh, oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, shit. Played poker tonight with Scott and Lisa from Scaredy. Steve, we researched. Steve was the Elias. He's a cheating scumbag. Huh? Elias. Oh, you're right. My bad. <laughs> What'd I say? You said Elisa. Um... Oh, shit. See, Skin Gorilla. I think they're talking about the liquor right there. No, they're talking about the hunter. I don't think the hunter looks skinned. It's all green and stuff. But a hunter is very gorilla-like. I, I don't know. I, think about it. It's, like, fucking huge. It's like... I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, and it shows this guy turning. It doesn't make any sense. It shows a guy transforming into a zombie. But, yeah, he's still writing all this down. Itchy, itchy, Scott came ugly face. So, killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'd write my diary. Open the closet door, girl! No, because I think this guy's gonna come up once I open it. And then I'm gonna have to deal with two zombies. So, we'll deal with that later. I'm sure you've handled two guys before. Oh! Yeah, yeah god damn yourself. it, asshole. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Let's check this room over here. 
the fuck is that noise? Oh, there's a guy on his uh, on the other side of the window. Oh wow, look at that. He's gonna break through later on. Break on through to the other side. Okay, let's just try to memorize these rooms. That way, I can't remember what to bring in here later on. Oh, this is where that's where you the... kill the plants. Yeah. Oh, because of that thing. That. Yeah. Fucker. You gotta taint the water supply. I forgot what the plant boss's name was. Ivana. No. Ivana hump a lot. No, it was Ivana. <laughs> the snake is Yawn, the shark is Neptune, and that's all I remember. Oh, look at that. Congratulations. Yeah. You didn't need a key for this one. It's just one of those doors that you unlock from the other side. Because... Oh, oh God! Yeah! Yeah! Fuck you, All right, zombie! We're back over here. Okay, good shit. And we're back. All right, now let's go ahead and get that shotgun. I don't remember the exact room it's in, but I'm pretty sure I can. Pretty sure I can get it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and look. It's gonna be in. Okay, yeah, I didn't know where to go. Where do we go now? Ay, 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 ay. Is that how they sound like Michael? Yeah! Axl Rose sucks giant fat cock. Oh, it's unnecessary. I'm just kidding, Axl. No, 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 I'm not kidding. You fucking suck. I like Guns and Roses. Not enough to fight you on it, but I like them. Fight me, bro. Hey, hey. Would you fight me if I said James Hatfield sucks giant fat cock? You've been saying that for like 10 years, so <laughs> it's kind of, it doesn't matter now. Plus, the bands you listen to are not even that great. So like who? Like your opinion matters. Who? Like the fucking flat bottoms are terrible. The flat bottoms? You can't even talk. get their name because right. Because no one remembers them. Fuck like, you. They're so shitty. Uh, the oh, front okay. bottoms are a voice of a generation. Eh, sixty nine. You need to get your attention. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. I think I might have to carry a few canteen around because as you see we're getting a lot of crimson heads. <clears throat> Alright, I guess they're both dead. That's weird. They're pretty weak. Alright. What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> That's this crazy. is like some Blair Witch shit going on. Should I just run past them or should I fight them? Fight him! Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, now he cares. Yeah, that was super fucking weird. Have you ever seen that before? Were they just standing there? Yeah. No. It's pretty that, like, creepy, actually. Fucking backs against the wall. Like, what the fuck? Oh, speaking of Blair Witch, you seen the Blair Witch movie yet? The new one, though. No. Yeah, 2016. No, I'm not really interested. No. No. Never cared for the Blair Witch movies. I didn't like the second one, but I thought the first one was... It was okay. It was scary. I feel like it... Oh, damn it. Accomplished its job, what? Alright. Are you not gonna be able to pick up the fucking shotgun? Yeah, okay, let's just... Oh my god, no! It's fine, I have a bunch of them. Alright. Oh, you can't even let the walls start coming down? What do you mean? Isn't that what happens? The wall starts coming down? Yeah, and then, well, the... the you mean the... The ceiling? Yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, if you come out here, you gotta, you gotta like. I remember I was like trying to figure out, oh, what do I do? What do I do? And I freaked out and I just put the shotgun back. Because this door becomes locked if you try to get out. Yeah. Alright, now we got the shotgun. Alright, making moves. Let's put it up. Because I don't want to be carrying so much stuff right now. 
Oh, look, six it comes shells. With six shells. So you got twelve times to fuck a zombie up. Right. So let's check over here, see if there's any more rooms that we can unlock. That way we can get rid of this key. That's we need the Wesker key or something or the Spencer key. My bad. I don't know how to get there. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's get rid of that shit. Now, if I'm guessing correctly, this is like the color puzzle room. Yep, the color puzzle room. Oh shit! Uh, I remember this puzzle. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if I remember what to do. If you fail this, all these fucking crows attack you. I'm yeah, sure. but you can just leave and come back and they'll be stationary again. Okay, three spirits. So remember this. Uh, okay. Nope. Okay, so remember this. Green crown, purple necklace, orange bracelet. Alright, let me write it down real quick. Alright. So this, we need to make this orange. Nope. Ah! Alright. Let's see if we can make this orange. You gotta go back and forth and turn this shit on. This should turn it orange. There we go. Yeah. And then, what is it? The green crown, This is the right? purple uh, necklace. Purple necklace. Alright, so let's see. Uh, let's see what that turns it. Deep red. Okay, so... This is red on this side. Let's see if we can make the other side blue. Pure white. Mm, okay. Turn this green. Okay. There we go. All right. Look now, at that. Easiest puzzle ever of all time. It can be kind of tricky, I guess, if you're not good at these uh, kind of puzzles. But you know what is tricky? What to rock a rhyme? Yes! <laughs> I, I actually got me pretty hyped for the second Ninja Turtles movie, honestly. Oh wait, they use that song in the Ninja Turtles? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. One of the death masks. Oh, sweet. Alright. And I don't know if you need a key to unlock this or if you can open it from this side yet. Fuck. Yeah, we need an old key. Oh, well, we got a mask, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and put it up and change some stuff. Alright. So now we gotta go solve some puzzles. Because I remember Emerald, we need to put it somewhere. Okay, so let's go to the mall. No, not the mall. Go over here. Through the broken ass door. And let's go ahead and change our item inventory up a little bit. Mm -hmm. We should probably save, right? Yeah, might as well. I'm not gonna carry the shotgun around right now. Let's go ahead and save. You just love using all my save slots, don't you? You gotta rotate those saves, Michael. Now, let's see, what should we bring along with us? Let's go ahead and take some... Do we have an old key? Because we should get an old key if we do. No, we don't. Oh, chemicals! 
You want to do the plant thing first? Let's, I say we go kill those plants. All right. So right now we just mix these herbs. Just so they'll be ready. See, told you it comes to me as I go along. Oh, me, totally, totally. <laughs> isn't he explore around a bit? Alright. So, we want to go take this. And... Let's take... The fuel canteen. Just so we can go ahead and kill some zombies on the way. You know what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? We're gonna kill those plants next time on Resident Evil.